YouTube. It's your boy NJ Moore coming back to you with yet another video. And yes, another meaning a whole bunch of sneaker releases. And you already know what that means. It's time for another yet another heat or hype. Where we go through the latest sneaker releases, rumors, stuff that's been dropping, and whatever else I want to talk about. Anything else I want to talk about? First up, we got the got the Royal Toe Air Jordan One. I like these; they're dope, in my opinion. Very clean, in my opinion. I like blue is my favorite color. I really like them. They're really clean, in my opinion, guys. But I wasn't able to get any shoes lately. I'm not gonna be able to get any more shoes for a while. So yeah. Over the summer will be the next time I'll be able to get a shoe. How is it? It's late. I'm limited on time. I don't have a lot of time here. I'm going to hurry up and get this video done as quick as I can. So yeah, guys. I mean, I'm not going to... I'm going to try to make this video no longer than 15 minutes, but it's whatever, guys. I'll take as long as I need for it. Up next, we got the Sulphur Yeezy 350 Boost V2. Now, these are okay, in my opinion. Not the biggest fan of the colorway, but they're alright. Next up, we have the Stussy Air, the Stussy Nike Air Force One. Now these are okay in my opinion. As y'all can see, it's an all black colorway. It has like a 3M swoosh or like you know reflective swoosh thing on it. And then you have like a fossil, fossil colorway with this uh, reflective swoosh and yeah or whatever 3M swoosh. So y'all know, I think those are okay in my opinion. Y'all can let me know what you think about the shoes I talk about in this video down below in the comments. And yeah. Next up, we got some more Air Jordan 12 lows in early 2021. Now, this first one is black, metallic, gold, and university red. And I mean, no. God. Damn it, no. First one is black, metallic, gold, and and varsity red, not university red, varsity red colorway. Now these are okay in my opinion. These are okay in my opinion. But But I'm just not the biggest fan of Air Jordan 12 lows or really any Air Jordan low. I would like these better if they were if they released in the air they released them in the Air Jordan 12 mid or high or whatever the normal one. I just like those a lot better. I'm not the biggest fan of Jordan Lowe's in general, so you know I, most people aren't really either. Most people prefer the mids or the highs or whatever they usually drop. But yeah, they just look a lot better. Certain shoes you just like better in the high and or mid, and certain shoes you just like better in the low. Like Air Forces, I'm more into the low tops. Vans, I'm into low tops more. It just all depends on the shoe. When it comes to Jordans or any basketball shoe, I prefer the mid or high or whatever. Unless it's like a Kobe, how the Kobe's gone. Yeah. The only Jordans I like that are in low, well, they're not technically low. The Jordan 3 and the Jordan 4, they're not really Jordan lows. But they're like more of a mid top. They look like a low top, but they're more like a mid. But yeah. Like that. But that's it. Next up, we have the Ghost Green Duck Camo Air Max 90. Now, the retail on these. Now, the release. Now the the release date on these is May 15th and the retail is 140 $140. Now I like these. Now I like these a little. I actually kind of like them. I think I have to see them in person to know how much I actually like them. But yeah, I like them a little from what I'm seeing. And yeah. Next up, we have another leak. Now, this is a leaked image of what is the laser orange 
Air Jordan 3. Now this is supposed to be for only small feet gang, but I did see a retail price of $190, of $190. Now, I actually like these. Now these are supposed to be dropping in July. I don't know when though, but in July sometime. Next up, we have the Nothing But Net Air Jordan 1 Low. Now the pattern and colors on this shoe are similar to the Air Jordan 7 Ugly Sweater. Now these are okay in my opinion. And those shoes were based off of well, the pattern, the sweater that Michael Jordan wore a while back. I don't even know. I don't have pictures of it but yeah. Y'all can look it up. You'll see a picture of him with the sweater on that made that made that inspired him to make the shoe and come out of the shoe or something. It has that pattern on it. Y'all know. Y'all know when you see it. <coughs> <coughs> now we got some pretty interesting news that the Core White Ultra Boost 1.0 Core White Adidas Ultra Boost 1.0. Are coming back and they will be releasing on May 17th now I like these yeah I do like them but yeah next up we have the Ronnie Fi New Balance 992 and this one is called Steel Blue. Now I like these a little. Yeah, the, um, Ernie Fi New Balance 992s. Pretty clean in my opinion. They're not bad. I'm actually someone who likes uh, those kind of shoes. Those shoes. Yep. Now on June 25th, this is a brand new leak, brand new rumor, and that is a Varsity Blue Air Jordan 3 should be dropping. These are very similar to the We The Best, the DJ Khaled pair, and I like these, are dope in my opinion, but you see those, very clean in my opinion, I really do like those. As y'all can see, just look how similar they're going to be to that. I wasn't able to find those pictures on my computer, so that is exactly why I put it up on here. Yeah, they're pretty clean in my opinion. I really like those. No. Very clean in my opinion. Up next, we got another leak for spring 2021, and it is a pair of Air Jordan 1 High. And the colorway is white, black, varsity, gold, and vault. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of this colorway, but I guess they're okay. Like, if they just would have did, where it's vault, they would have made that university gold as well. Or they would have did vault where university gold is and just left it vault where they already had it. But, like, mixing those two colors, like, a greenish color with a golden yellow color. It just doesn't go together. But, you know, might be one of those BS Jordan 1 colorways. We also got another... <coughs> we also got another Air Jordan 1 High Spring 2021 release. Now, the colorway is white, black, and university blue. And I like these. They're dope in my opinion. But if you already have a UNC colorway Jordan 1 or something... I don't think there's any point in getting those, but I don't. I'd probably go for those. I mean, they've dropped better ones with that color white on it, but that color blue on it, but still. If I'm able to get those, I'll get them. I'll try to probably get a shoe like that. Because these are the only Jordan ones I really have that are retro high. Oh, geez. Because, like, these ones that have my feet, the Hyper Royals. They weren't really hype and I was easy. 
they were widely available and you were able to get them like up to a year after they released but yeah my own pair air jordan one higher i didn't say that but i'm just tired of it waking up late really screws your day up it really does next up we have the planet hoops nike air foam positive one and they retail for $250. That word slipped out of my mouth to me to say that I should never use the Lord's name. Vain like that. It's terrible. Don't do that, kids. My bad. I'll probably try to cut that part out and get that word cut out. So that, that's messed up. I shouldn't have said that. Retail for $250. And I like, now I like the Nike Air Foam Positive one, but this colorway is Basuda, in my opinion. They're trash. They're garbage. They're just terrible. I don't like them at all, bro. They're just terrible. Next up, we got this shoe, and it is from this shoe's 5-3 something brand. And this shoe costs $500. Now, these are Basuda, in my opinion. They're trash. They're garbage. Just look at these. They're terrible. I don't know who would want those. Who would buy them? Next up, we have this shoe that's actually a sample from Yeezy, and that has already been getting clowned throughout Twitter because this was just a bad photo post. And that is a Yeezy 451. Now, these look like dumplings. They're Basuda, in my opinion. They're garbage. They're trash. They're garbage. Just look at those. Those things are just hideous. Those things are horrible. I don't like those at all. Terrible. But yeah. But I didn't need to show those. What the? I have a picture. Yeah, I'll just put in that part where I had them showed like this. I'll just have it on the computer. Like, oh, the, the picture will be up. And yeah. It's phone positives. I think I have a picture I'll already shown in case you didn't see them. But yeah. We got some more photos of this Bel Air Air Jordan 5. The release date is August 29th for a retail of $200. 200. Now these are okay in my opinion. Look pretty cool from what I'm seeing, but I've seen them in person or I've seen more images of them for when they're actually going to officially what for, of what they're going to officially look like when they're going to officially release. We get close to that date. Um, you should see what they will actually look like. But yeah. Next up, we got another leak, and that is the Fire Red Air Jordan 3. The Fire Red Air Jordan 3. The Fire Red Jordan 3 should be returning on August 1st, 2020. And I like these. They're cool, in my opinion. But they're doing something a little different. I have a reflective tab on the back or whatever. They aren't like the original one, but I like the reflective. I mean, not reflective. The clear tab on clear tab on the back or whatever. Whatever the hell it is. Yeah, I like it. We got another one out of nowhere. And remember, leak rumor for early 2021. <clears throat> Retailing for $190. Retailing for $190. There could be a Kobe 6 Pro Tro Grinch. Now, these are okay, in my opinion. The next one we got is another brand new colorway of the off white Nike Air Force One. This time. coming in University Gold. Another release for next year in 2021. Now these are okay in my opinion. And to go ahead and end off this week's heater hype, we have one more story. Well, it looks like the Cactus Jack Nike SB may actually be dropping. Of course, this is another rumor, but it seems that it has been reported that these have already hit production. Now these are okay in my opinion. I actually like them better than the one's a, the Nike SB Cactus Jack is already dropped but yeah most love the fan followers and supporters you guys follow me on Instagram SoundCloud Snapchat Twitter Snapchat's Nick Moore 9 by the way this has been NJ Moore I'll catch y'all next video y'all be easy I am out hope y'all good day hope y'all good night catch y'all next video y'all be easy I am out hope y'all good day hope y'all good night peace